Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 53 in chapter 29. Chapter 29 is about electromagnetic induction and Faraday's law. Right? So first one, we see we have the power supply, the voltage source, and then it goes through the res uh, uh, res uh, resistor and then come back. And then we know the power output, their P output is given as 85 kilowatt. And the voltage output is 120 watt. And then we know the resistor is 0 0.2 ohms. It tells us 2 9, each 9 is 0 0.1. So total resistance is 0 0.2, right? Now, first one, we need to estimate how much power is uh, saved, is uh, wasted, right? So power wasted in this case is just the, the power consumed by the cable, by this resistance R, right? So this is I out square times R. And uh, the current out, you can use the power out divided by V out. Now you input it inside, you get the equation for P lost, right? P lost, and then input a given quantity, you get the number there. The next one, the total power by this generator, we can see it is P1. This is without the transformer. The power just uh, by this generator, you can use P out plus P lost, and the number is there. The second one, we insert a transformer in between them, right? We insert the transformer in between them. Tell us the transformer is 99% efficient. So 99% efficient. So that means the P out equal to 0 0.99 P9, right? Agree? Yes. So now we can see. So in this one, so we list all the given quantities. So V out is still 120, but V9 is uh, uh, 1,200 volts. Mm -hmm. And the V lost is still the energy consumed by the cable. So I squared times R, right? So it looks like we need to find the current I. So the current I should use the what? Well, the P out over the V out, right? By V out, we don't know yet. We can use the P out equal to 0 0.99 P9. And this P9 is the power consumed on the cable. So use the current times the V9. So from this equation, you can get the current there and input the current inside the P lost. You get the equation, look like this one, right? So you can see the lost power is much smaller than previous one. So this is P2. We can think use the P out plus P lost. The answer is there. So now the delta P is the energy saved, right? So use P1 minus P2, you get it, 98 kilowatt. Thank you.